Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is excellent because it's the Triumph card, it's the Chariot card. So whatever you've been doing, you've been working very, very hard at it and now it looks like success is about to enter into your arena over here. So, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of differing opinions. You've got these sphinxes going in different directions. So, uh, you know, you've had to rope in a lot of, uh, maybe people were not supporting you um, and you had to get all these negative energies out of the way and, you know, get yourself a goal and be determined and move forward. So you've got that Triumph card over here, that Chariot. Uh, moving forward with great determination but also seeing victory as well now you've been feeling a bit disorientated over here you've got that disorientation card over here so maybe your thoughts have been a bit uh, muddled uh, because you've got mercury over here ruling thought and being disorientated being confused about what to do so you you know you've been uh, at a dilemma, a dilemma uh, facing some kind of uh, dilemma and having to decide what to do uh, still not uh, quite sure about uh, you know whether you're doing the right thing or not you've got alliance card coming in over here so there might be somebody that you might uh, um, start collaborating with so somebody coming in to give you some input in and direction or even you know uh, you might be um, forming a friendship or um, um, a partnership with somebody uh, on the work front and that person is going to help you proceed forward so in the past you've got innovation so something that you started doing was you know uh you know at the forefront uh it's a groundbreaking things that you've been doing something new maybe it has never been done before and you've been working on that you've got impediments there were a lot of obstacles and problems that you were facing because it's been something brand new uh, and maybe you were dealing with also very very difficult people as well with this impediment card so there's been some challenges uh, along the way there now going into the future you've got the 10 which is the wheel of fortune coming in over here and this is about change coming in big changes coming in maybe sudden changes coming in but it's going to be something that's to do with work and uh, you know focusing on it and it's usually positive with the wheel of fortune so positive change coming in for you and you've got the thought card over here so this is about uh, you know manifesting it's about um, working very hard on a particular project and bringing it to life so you are still going to be very very work focused on whatever you're doing you can see this man's carving out the statue over here but it's going to be something that's long term that's going to last uh, for a while and you've got Saturn over here so it's about work very very focused on that particular task that you're doing so whatever you're doing is groundbreaking there's success coming in for you over there uh, it looks like there's some kind of partnership as well coming in or somebody that you're going to get some very sound advice from or you know have a, a good kind of friendship with this particular person even if you're in a bit of confusion right now, it looks like success is coming in and it's going to allow you to, uh, you know, um, focus on that work and produce something really beautiful. So uh, big changes coming in for you there. Okay, so those are the energies for those two weeks. Now I'm going to just draw some cards from the Vanessa Tarot. I put this deck in the description box to so have a look. Now you've got the Seven of Cups over here, having a lot of options and uh, trying to make decisions. Uh, you know, you have uh, a lot of visions. You have a lot of things that you want to get done. Uh, maybe you haven't... Uh, it started doing it because you know this lady's uh, sleeping here so this is about procrastinating also so whatever plans you have you need to put them into place uh, or whatever things or projects you want to do you need to get them started uh, rather than just dreaming about it they need to become concrete so you actually do need to start uh, making your dreams a reality you have a lot of options and a lot of ideas and they seem to be good ideas but they will only remain dreams if you don't put them into action now you've got the four of coins over here and you've got the Six of Swords. So, so financial stability coming in for you here. It's also a need to watch your finances, make sure that you're not overspending. The Six of Swords is moving away from any kind of difficult situation that you've been going through. You might have been facing some kind of legal problem that is now in the past or whatever difficulties um, you were dealing with. The Six of Swords is the card that comes after the Five of Swords. So that means there might have been some legal issues, some official problems or some kind of uh, you know, difficult situation uh, where, uh, you know, people said nasty things. There were last, a lot of nasty words that were said and you are now moving away from it and heading towards 
financial security or stability. You're getting over, uh, you're moving into calmer times, more stable times. Now you've got the three of wands over here. This is, uh, you know, putting your message out to a broader audience, uh, maybe communicating on an international uh, the front, uh, you know, maybe doing international projects as well. And also may, there may have been a lot of travel that was uh, you were doing uh, in this past year. You have been dealing with the five of wands, so uh, dealing with a lot of negative energy around you, a lot of challenging energy and a lot of competition going on around you. So, you know, people not giving, you can see all of them jumping for this bouquet that has been thrown, the wedding bouquet. So everybody trying to vie for the same post or the same goal. And, you know, it's been, it's been a little bit of a dirty fight, if I can say that. Uh, so, you know, you've been uh, dealing with a lot of challenging situations. But it looks like with that six of swords, you are moving away from that five of wands. So it looks like, you know, everything is starting to settle. It's starting to calm down. Now, what's in your mind? Uh, you've got the devil card. So you are still feeling a bit negative. You might have been dealing with a situation where you were could have been dealing with a Capricorn energy, but also dealing with a situation where somebody has been very manipulative. Uh, and also you've been feeling very, very negative about it. So uh, feeling a bit, um, maybe like the wind has been blown out of your sail. Uh, you know, feeling very, very controlled. So going into the future, you've got the Nine of Swords over here. You're still very, very anxious about whatever you're going through. You're not sleeping well at night. It seems like, you know, you're very, very stressed out at this particular moment. Now, coming in for you, you've got the Page of Swords over here. So you've got this Ace of Swords, or sorry, the Ace of Cups coming in uh, here. Uh, so there's some opportunity that you are going to take. So you've got these dreams about something that you want to do. So you need to pick one of them and you need to act on that particular thing. So there's a new idea that you have and you need to start working on that particular idea. It's time to be for action. The chariot card is talking about, uh, you know, moving away from, uh, you know, difficult situations, but moving away, away and moving towards victory and being determined. So you need to focus on things and you will get victory. This could also be movement or travel, um, you know, and, uh, but this is definitely a card of success. It's a, tri a triumph card uh, in the uh, previous energy read. Now, what you want is, it looks like, you know, you do, you may want to travel. You're waiting for some kind of news to come in. You want a lot more freedom. There's something that's preventing that, and you're waiting for some news to come in. So going into the future, you've got the Seven of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Coins. So the Seven of Swords is about dealing with a lot of deceptive people. Uh, you know, Watch out for people stealing ideas and watch out for lies and deceit going on around you. Be careful with whom you trust your new ideas with. This could also have been a legal situation that you were dealing with uh, and maybe people have been lying to get uh, their way. This is about theft. Um, you've got the Three of Cups of here, some celebration coming in. So there is a victory and there are a lot of people that are going to be supporting you as well. And you've got that Queen of Coins. So reaching the top of whatever you Want. So this could be a promotion that comes in for you, a promotion in management where you celebrate and you're dealing with, you're working with people that you enjoy working with. Uh, but also this is achieving goals. This is the card for Taurus, is the queen of coins, being organized uh, and also achieving financial success. So there's success coming in. There's no need for you to be so stressed out. Uh, it looks like you know, you've got the chariot card. This is the card of triumph. This new opportunity, you need to run with it and you need to be um, you need to do things. You you sh you you need to get out of being a procrastinator. Stop dreaming. You need to put your ideas into action. You've got the two of summer coming in over here. So this could be a, a partnership coming in, in in the form of a business partnership. And it looks like you'll be able to resolve problems. It says don't give up. Uh, and this is a resolution of a problem coming in. So something coming in to give you a hand. The Ten of Spring is uh, ask for help from others or work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So you're being very, very work focused. Uh, there's a lot of challenges that you're facing. You need to ask for some kind of help and don't take uh, too much on your, your plate. You know, you need to let go of some burdens and get some time to relax as well. And, um, you know... Um, it looks like you need to take a little bit of a holiday, maybe a little bit of a break. You've got the Ten of Summer over there, so emotionally fulfilling life, and uh, it says people you can trust. So this is about the end of uh, emotional difficulties and the end of uh, burdens and responsibilities, and it looks like help is coming your way. So all that responsibilities, burdens, and stress that you're going through, it looks like you're going to get some help uh, and you're going to get some victory as well. 
some success coming in for you after all this hard work. So it looks like you're moving into a new phase with this being your birthday month. You're ending that old cycle that you've been going through and it looks like something brand new and more productive is coming your way. And it looks like you're going to be successful at it with that Queen of Cup, uh, Coins uh, financial independence coming your way. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.